Hi, hi, hi. Hi, and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. Today, I will show you how to map macros in Ableton Live in four minutes. Get those presets done. Subscribe, hit the bell icon so you will see more cool stuff from me. Let's go into it. So, oh, wait, no. Aha, four minutes starts. No, okay. So here I have a preset I have created previously. And you can see there's a lot of different mapping. I literally, there's so much mapping. And you can see that there's a lot of presets. So in Ableton Live 11, you can also do presets of your mapping. So let's have a listen, a couple of them. There's so much happening here. If you want to get this, vo this is for vocals ultimately. But if you want this, uh, go to my website and download it. Hey. Okay, so basically, let's see how we can do this by ourselves. So let's go here and we're going to go into audio effects and then audio, audio effect rack. And you need to get this empty one here. So it's just the first one. And if you just put it like that, voila, you get the empty one. So let's just see. Let's map something really fun. So example, let's go and put an auto filter there. And now example, I can just either drag it directly to the audio, uh, audio effect rack, or I can just drag it from here. So let's put that there. And maybe let's put a delay It's always fun. And I'm just putting it after delay. Okay, perfect. So now we need to go to the left side of the audio effort rack and just open up some stuff. So the chains are the last one, then devices, then we have the uh, presets, and then we have macros. So we have everything open up. And now it's really important we also have the browser here open because, well, it would open automatically anyway. But we need to now see what we can map. So you go here and you click map. Ba, ba, ba. Everything turns green. On the left side here, now you see the browser has turned into macro mapping universe. So we're going to go and find the controls we want to map. So I'm going to go here and take the frequency example, map that there. Um, and then it's really important that we understand the minimum and maximum. So what is the minimum uh, value of this? Uh, control that I want the frequencies to be in. So example now it says 26 hertz. Yeah, absolutely. If you're not sure, you can test it. So now uh, the highest is 19.9 and 26 hertz is the lowest. So it goes quite low. So we could actually map that a little bit less and that would secure. We can either drag and drop it like this. So we could have it example in 200. So I can even type it there. Otherwise, what we can do is uh, also example LFO amount, put that there. So you can just literally go around and just pick which ones you want. LFO amount, I kind of like having it max 30. But then we will need to change, put the rate already in the position that really works. So I like example having that uh, on time signature. So it will work for any tempo at all. And then we could example go and also macro map the feedback and the dry wet of this delay. There we go. And again, I need to make sure that the feedback, yeah, they're pretty good from zero to 100. There we go. And then I'm just going to go and put a couple less of these so we can actually just have the controls we like. We can also color them. And then we can rename them. So that could be filter, freak, LFO amount, that could be and dry wet. Perfect. But let's put delay, dry wet. Perfect. And now we just create, ah, that's time. Oof. And then I just want to just say that uh, what we can create is variations. So we can create a preset that we like. So example, let's just play the clip. Ooh. So example, we could just create a dry one. Just example here, put LFO. And then example, next one only 
a little bit of delay. And now I have two different presets. This one and that one. Although I named them wrong way around. But that's fine, I can fix that later. That's literally the most easiest way to create a preset. Then you can just close all these. And there we go, we have macro mapping done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I have plenty of more videos to explaining this process in a lot more detail. Example, sometimes doing the values can be a little bit difficult. So go to the links down below and check out my very comprehensive big tutorials on these topics. And also my website is full of presets you can go and download. So check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon. Also, thank you for my Patreons for being part of my Patreon family. Family. They are absolute legends. We have so much fun in there. It's such a supportive and the best community ever. I love it. Thank you so much. Have a great week and see you soon. Love ya.